Good afternoon. Today we are presenting a headphone amplifier kit named Corvette. Corvette is a pure class A headphone amplifier and employs two 6922 tubes manufactured by Electroharmonics. The tubes are matched with an aid of Amplitrax tube tester and a computer. Corvette uses only the best audiophile grade parts throughout. Specifically, we used ALPS volume control in the left and right channel. We used V shade L military grade metal film resistors throughout the amplifier. We used VIMA polypropylene capacitors for interstage connections in the amplifier, and we also used VIMA capacitors in the built-in extremely quiet, extremely low noise power supply which this headphone amplifier has. Those eight small VIMA capacitors on the left side of the PC board are responsible for suppressing high frequency switching noise generated by the rectifier in the filament bus of the power supply and the rectifier in the B plus bus of the power supply. The DC voltage produced by the rectifier in the filament bus then smoothened by these two gamut capacitors and further smoothened by these four Nichikan electrolytic capacitors. The same story applies to the B plus bus of the power supply. We employ two gamut capacitors to smoothen the rectified DC voltage and further smoothen the DC voltage by employing these four large electrolytic capacitors manufactured by Nichicon. In this particular setting we are using two toroidal transformers. Each transformer is responsible for providing AC voltage for each bus this power supply has. This transformer is a B plus transformer and uh, the phasis transformer is a filament transformer. Each bus of the power supply also has a stabilization and filtering device. In the BC, in the B plus uh, bus of the power supply we are using MOSFET IRF840 transistor which stabilizes the B plus voltage and filters out AC component out of DC voltage down to 20 millivolt AC. In the filament bus of the power supply we are using low drop regulator Lima Delta 1084V and uh, this regulator does extremely good job stabilizing 6.3 volt delivery to the filaments of the tubes and filtering out AC component out of the DC voltage down to 0.6 millivolt AC. In short, this power supply is largely responsible for the high quality of the sound produced by the amplifier because it's extremely low noise power supply. We measured the noise produced by this power supply as minus 50 dB against the signal produced by the amplifier as a whole. In other words, you won't hear any hum or AC noise listening music through this amplifier whatsoever. In this particular setting we are using Sennheiser 650 headphones with impedance of 600 ohm. And we also run tests with uh, headphones with impedance as low as 30 ohm. And uh, in all cases the amplifier provided enough power to run those headphones. In other words, this headphone amplifier runs a wide range of headphones. 
from 30 to 600 ohm of impedance. Now let's run a short test and see how this amplifier performs. We will listen a short clip of pop music and uh, see how this amplifier performs in, in, in real life. This is a full power Sennheiser 650-600 ohm impedance and the full power of the amplifier. And bringing it down to zero and bringing it up again to the maximum. Additional information, schematic and the user manual and tutorials helping you to assemble this kit are available on our website radiocraft.ca. Please visit, please browse and let us know what you think. Thank you very much and all the best.